What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a haul of all my recent purchases. I've been thrifting a lot. I've been going to a lot of estate sales and I've just been shopping online, you know, with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that kind of stuff. So I thought I would gather it all up and just do one video of everything that I've gotten. I also wanted to mention, which I did put in the community tab that Instagram deleted my old account and I know a bunch of you guys have followed me over there but I'm no longer at that name anymore because I don't have it. I don't know why they deleted my account and there's no way to ever get it back so I started a new one. So the new one is Olivia Atlas Home all one word. So I would love to see you guys on the new channel. I think the last video I left off at this chandelier that you can see right up here we decided to put it in the bedroom. My husband was the final vote. I was fine either way, whether it went in my living room or the bedroom. And ultimately it ended up in the bedroom. And honestly, I, I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it makes it feel so cozy. So anyways, now let's get on to the haul. A lot of what we're about to see is a lot of artwork. If you have been following, you know that I am doing my office. And in my office, I just want a gallery moment of just black and white vintage sketches. The frames can be different. I just want it to all be cohesive as far as the artwork. So that's what I've been collecting. Every Thursday, Friday, when I drop my daughter off at school, I'll go and hit up an estate sale. And that's mainly where I've been finding a lot of my um, artwork. So let's, sh I will show you guys. So the first is just this little San Francisco photo. I actually have three of these that are just like all different cities, like different parts of the city. And I have them above my bed. And what I love about them so much is that it's little art. I've never been a lover of art above a bed, but when I saw this, I thought it was just, it added a nice touch to the space without being so overbearing with like a big massive art piece above the bed. And so when I saw these, they were like 20 bucks for all three of them and I had to have them. This is probably one of my favorite estate sale finds ever. And I think that this is something that I'm gonna have for probably the rest of my life because we would go to San Francisco a lot growing up. I lived in the Bay Area and I don't know, the gold frame, the gold black frame, the sketching, ugh, just everything about it is just perfection. I think as we go along in the haul, I'll just stick with all of my art right now and then we'll move on to the other stuff. The next items are these pictures, actually sketches, and I just, I got this from the same seller. They were about $40, so $20 a piece. Next item is another sketch. I think I only have, oh, I know I have two more after this. So this piece I went when I got the San Francisco three frames. And as I was walking around the house, I came across this piece and it was $19. And I immediately knew that I had to have it. I love the shape. It is so beautiful. And of course I love sketches. I'm going to say that a million times because that's what I'm on the hunt for right now. It's just so beautiful. I love the shape. I love the wood tones. I love the colors. I love the fact that it's like a different shape. That's really what got me um, to buy this mostly is because everything else is all kind of travel related. But when I saw this one, it's like a house on a lake and it is just so beautiful. Like I, I'm, this is probably another one of my favorite finds because I haven't ever really seen anything like it. And I, I just, I love it so much. I'm waiting. I think I actually have enough of the collection to start putting them on the walls. So maybe we'll do that in like the next couple of videos is start hanging the artwork so that I can see what else I need because I haven't really hung them yet because one, the space isn't really done yet. And two, I just didn't want to hang it if I only had a couple pieces. I wanted to make sure that I had, you know, a pretty good collection. And I think we're almost there. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job at collecting. Um, but I have this one and this I love. So my friend Justine has a booth at one of the local antique stores. And when I saw it, I loved it because one, it's a sketch and two, the frame is so cool. It's a mirror, like a mercury glass mirror, and I don't have anything like it. So I thought that adding this into the space would give it a little bit more of like a visual interest. And it's just something so different. So when I saw it, I knew it was coming home, home with me. Next two items, while everybody was Black Friday shopping, probably at the mall or Target or whatever, I hit up the thrift store. 
and one of my friends lives about 30 minutes away from me so it's not a thrift store that I go to often but I did pop in there I don't know a couple months ago and I saw these prints and I passed on them and then when I went back to her house I'm like I'm gonna go pop into that thrift store again just to see if the prints are there if they are I'll buy them well they were still there and it was like 50 or 60 percent off because it was Black Friday so I got both of them for 12 dollars total so six bucks each and the this is what they look like now this isn't something that I'm like super obsessed with they are really beautiful but they don't really have much meaning to me like most of my art does like I love New York it's one of my favorite states ever um I have tons of like travel ones I have some from Paris from the Notre Dame um like the San Francisco ones these I just loved. I thought they were really, really beautiful. And I plan to put them obviously in my office, probably stacked like this and probably more towards the top. And you're not going to be able to see them that much because it's going to be like at the top. So they're kind of like filler pictures, if that makes sense. I don't want to do like one that I'm like super obsessed with and has like tons of meaning and put it way in the top corner and then you don't ever really see it. So that's what these are for me. But the fact that they were still there and that it was on like 60% off, I felt like these things, they, these pictures were waiting for me. So love these. The, the next item are these solid marble um, ah, picture frames. And I got these off of Facebook Marketplace and don't sleep on Facebook Marketplace because that is where I've pretty much decorated my whole house. I love that it, it has like brass around it and that it's solid marble like they are so pretty I plan to put these in the bookshelves um on the side of the fireplace just to add some contrast to the, like the white space and one tip I have about Facebook marketplace is if you see that a seller has a lot of really good stuff and then they have really good style that resonates with you save that save that seller and then what happens is every time that seller posts it's going to show up in your feed so this is from one of my favorite sellers i've actually bought in so much stuff from her and then this item is probably one of my favorite purchases i just think it's going to be so pretty and then you just put a tapered candle and i love the daintiness of it So you all know that I love Paris. I know I probably say this in every video, but I do. We got married there, so I feel like it's extra special, but I came across this book at the thrift that just says Paris. And then what I love most about it is, you know, I always remove the sleeves if they don't match my aesthetic. And underneath it, it was this beautiful book that has Paris written in cursive and it is just Oh, it's so gorgeous another Paris book and I don't buy every Paris book that I see okay there's other places in the world that I'm obsessed with as well but this one I love that it was a black and white you know I love sketches and it was a sketchbook a Paris sketchbook and it's just all sketches from around the city and how fitting for me that they're that it's Paris and it's sketches so this one obviously was a must that I needed to bring home. And then I only have two more items. And this one, I know I said the candle holder. Actually, I know I said a lot of the stuff was my favorite. And that's because I wouldn't buy it if it wasn't my favorite. But this, I, I just love this. So I got this pillow on Black Friday. It is stunning I love this pillow cushion or pillow cover shall I say the pillow cover is so so freaking beautiful I love it right now I have them on my bed as you can see the one right here and I am obsessed with this what I love about this is it can go anywhere in my house when you find your style and you find your color palette you can move everything around and it goes in every single space and that is when you know that you have curated your style this is one of those for me right now they're living on my bed but who knows maybe I'll move them downstairs maybe I'll move them into the loft it is stunning I'll be sure to link the pillow company down below so it's the covers only and then I buy the inserts from Amazon and these inserts are so good 
so good. It makes your pillows feel so high end. So even if you buy like your pillows at Target, be sure to switch out your inserts and get the ones from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it because they make your pillows pillows feel so high end and so luxury luxurious luxurious. I think that's how you say it. The last item. Now I also picked it up off of Facebook Marketplace. I got two of them for forty bucks. And I'm gonna have to do a DIY on them. So maybe we'll do that in the next video. So don't judge the way that it looks right now. If you've seen my very, very first YouTube video when I DIY'd the lamp that I have downstairs, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I guess I gave it away, it's a lamp. Let me show you. But I'm gonna do the same thing with this lamp, but I'm gonna do it like black and not the light color. But this thing is massive. But how good is the shape of this lamp? It's honestly so, so good. So if you see like any of those designer lamps on their website, like Studio McGee, Amber Interiors, even Restoration Hardware, they all have like a base like this with like a super deep empire shade. And that's what I plan to do with this lamp. Oh, let me put it down. Um, whew, that lamp. <laughs> is heavy uh, but that's what I plan to do with this lamp I plan to put them on my nightstands in my bedroom and then like I said get the empire shade and I'm going to do my DIY if you haven't seen my very first YouTube video ever um, it was DIYing a lamp shade a lamp that I got at the Goodwill and so I'll link that and that's the same technique that I'm going to do I am doing so much home stuff like all the time and I'm like why am I not filming this like in real time like I think you guys would really love to come along with me. So that is what I'm trying to do this year is just be more consistent on this channel. I, I'm so glad to see you guys in another video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, we will see you in the next video. And don't forget to follow my new Instagram. Help me grow. It's just Olivia Atlas Home. Those are my kids' middle names. So I thought it was very fitting. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.